On the moon, Neil Armstrong took a giant leap for mankind. Well, back on Earth a short time later, scientists took a leap of faith. This newly released video shows researchers analyzing moon rocks and soil collected by the Apollo 11 astronauts. They were searching for signs of lunar life. Of course, they didn't find any, but at NASA's Ames Research Center in California, the quest for life beyond Earth is still going strong. Astrobiologists Mary Beth Wilhelm and Nikki Peranto are part of the hunt. Why is it so important to answer this question, is there life beyond Earth? And I think it's one of the biggest questions that we as humans can ask, you know, are we alone? When most of us think about life beyond Earth, we tend to think of Little Green Men or E.T. That's probably not the best way to think of it, is it? Right, we're not so interested in Little Green Men as Little Green Microbes. <laughs> Wilhelm is focused on Mars. Four years ago, she discovered water there. Now she wants to find life. Part of my job is to go to Mars-like places on Earth to try to understand how life survives under these extremely dry, harsh conditions. She visits frigid places like Antarctica and ultra-dry spots like the Atacama Desert in Chile. In the field, Wilhelm collects rocks. Then back in her lab, she looks for signs of life like these little green microbes. If you saw something like that on a rock in Mars, that would be extraordinary, wouldn't it? Exactly, smoking gun. Of course, the red planet is far drier than even the most arid places on Earth, and it's too hot for humans, which is why for now, NASA relies on rovers to traverse the planet. These are our eyes, our ears, and our little mini laboratories that are, are taking measurements. If detecting life on Mars sounds hard, imagine trying to find it outside our solar system where thousands of planets have been detected. That's Peranto's job. This allows us the capability to simulate conditions on other planets outside of our solar system, so what we call exoplanets. This is a very primitive community of microbes. Here, she simulates the light on a distant planet. So the light's gonna change. Mm -hmm. She can now measure how much oxygen is being produced by the microbes, so she knows what to look for in far off worlds. If you had to make a guess right now at whether there's life beyond Earth, can you even give us an answer right now? I'd be surprised if there wasn't. <laughs> you know, the ingredients for life are very common, so, it, you know, why not? I think that it could potentially happen within our lifetimes, you know, detect life on, on a different planet.